Hello Gemini, welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you're all feeling fantastic. I really hope that the start of the week so far has been marvelous for all of you Gemini. My beautiful Jimmy Jams, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let me clear the deck for you. Gemini, for this week's reading, I do want to focus on a particular person you have in mind because the last few weeks Gigi and I have been receiving kind of requests but they're very different. Well, not to say that. They are different, but there is a lot of similarities in a lot of people would like some clarity about a particular person. So this is someone, a very particular person of a romantic interest that you're not with them at the moment. Perhaps there was a falling out. And if you lack clarity, maybe you're thinking, well, what did they want from me in the past? Like, what was the point of that connection? And if the cards do indicate perhaps there is some form of reunion, some indication of coming back together, then what do they really want now? So it's going to be a very interesting, you know, we're talking about the, pra the past. I was going to say past. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about the past, but also the present as well. So, you know, this could even be just a, a reading just to confirm what you already know. So in regards to a specific person, from your past what did they really want from you in the past you might even ask what was the point of that relationship there are always lessons but as i said if there's any indication that they will return what do they really want from you now so let's do a really good shuffle gemini and also i have to keep thanking you gemini every week for the overwhelming response we are receiving for our signature online master tarot course if you go to the description box below, there is an email there. It's everything is clearly labeled. If you still want to catch the early bird discount, and if you want to be exclusively taught by myself, Fifi and Gigi, shoot us an email. I will personally respond to you. I will endeavor to respond to you within 24 hours as confirmation, or even if you just want more information or you have more questions, more queries, the whole point of that course, it's a pretty big course, there's a lot of videos, a lot of visual examples, is that Gigi and I want you to be masters of tarot. So you feel confident within yourself when approaching any deck. As you can see, this is only half of what I've got. The rest is behind me. I've actually got quite a lot. So the, oh, interesting. The Four of Wands came out, Aries Energy. It looks like somebody wants to come back home to you, Gemini. They always end up coming back to Gemini, don't they? <laughs> um, so yes, just going back to our online signature master tarot course, um, Gemini, when the course is live, you know, there's going to be that, you know, special early bird discount for probably a week, week and a half. The price is going to go up. It's going to be 550 Australian dollars. The price is not going to go down after that. So don't pay full price. There is still time, Gemini. You still have time. So shoot us an email and basically you're in. You're going to get the early bird discount. It's a pretty big one. And you'll only pay $195 Australian um, for the entire course. And we've also made some options there. You can actually download it as well. Um, all the videos to your computer, but you don't have to. It's just going to take up a lot of space, um, but it's going to be safe there within our website. All you have to do is create a free account. It's like Kajabi or Thinkific. It's like that. Um, so again, if you want the early bird discount, shoot us an email and we will endeavor to respond to you within 24 hours. It's going to be a really, really fun course. Absolutely cannot wait. All right, Jim and I, here we go. What do they want from you? And what do they want from you now, please? I've got the King of Pentacles. Oops. So it seems perhaps the person that you were with, um, it seems perhaps they were with someone else. Could it be? Were they committed to someone else? Mm. See, the only reason why I say that is because, you know, more often than not, the King and the Queen of Pentacles are already in a committed relationship. That's interesting. All right, here we go. They're saying four more, three more, two more. Last one, please. With their past person, please, spirit team. What did they really want from them in the past? And if there's an indication that they're coming back, which I already saw that they will be, for the vast majority of you, what do they really want? Second time we're seeing the hanged man. Um, when I was explaining everything, the hanged man actually went flying. It landed here, Pisces energy. There is a lot of unsure energy on your part here, Gemini. Some of you are probably actually unsure. What was the point of the relationship? And we know that we always say there are lessons involved. Don't be surprised. A lot of you might be thinking, I still don't know what the lesson is. Um, I just think maybe it's actually giving you a lot more of a tougher backbone, thicker skin. 
but it hasn't hardened your heart though. Might have been dealing with the Pisces here. I think you're gonna have to make a quick decision about someone. That's you, the Knight of Swords is Gemini energy. Oh yeah, this, why don't we do it? Yeah, let's get straight to the point. This is overall energy. This is what we don't see coming as well. You're not sure about making a decision. You don't want to be impulsive about accepting an apology from someone. You've got the most romantic night, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, reuniting and starting all over again. The card of true love, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got the chariot. They're coming in very fast. Cancer energy. That's the fastest moving energy. And we've got the page of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This person is watching you, Gemini. They are absolutely spying on you. It is my online card. So if you kind of consider yourself easy, accessible to view online, they are absolutely watching you, even incognito. They could actually also be um, looking at old photos, old text messages, but they actually want to come and tell you the truth about something because that is the ultimate messenger, the true communicator. And they get straight to facts. Even if the truth hurts, it leads to clarity. So I can already see, you know, we haven't even started the main reading. Is that your person? What do they want? Two things. They want to tell you the truth. They want to come clean. And number two, this person actually is all up in their feelings about you. They want this reunion to be successful and have another chance with you. Current energy is E. It's going to take work. Eight of Pentacles, Virgo energy. Ooh, seven of swords. There's only so many times. I think your person has been in hiding for a very, very long time. Seven of swords. And I don't feel that you trust this person 100%. Aquarius energy. How do they view you, please? Is the six of cups. Scorpio energy. Well, they can't stop thinking about you. And they do want a reunion. What do they want? And what are they planning behind the scenes that you don't know? But now you know is one of my favorite tens is the ten of cups. Pisces energy. Everything points coming back to you. The beating heart of your reading, please. You just want the truth or do not come back at all. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, Ace of Swords. That is interesting. What are they going to do about it? They're going to take that leap of faith. The full Aries energy. Hopes, fears and concerns for both of you, please, is the Queen of Pentacles. Is there a third party? Might be still hanging around. We saw the King of Pentacles. Now we've got the Queen of Pentacles. That is interesting. I think your person here, they might have had someone on the side the entire time. They might even have their own children. Uh, in the near future, we have the Devil, Capricorn energy. Two messages. I think you're very tempted. But also, whoever this third party represents, as I said too, but whoever that third party represents is actually very extremely toxic. But in the outcome, both of you move forward. We move away from anything that is toxic, that is dominating, especially that third party. This is a beautiful combination I want to see. And sixes are all about harmony and balance. Look at that, the five of wands, Leo energy. Usually, you know, with that five of wands, everybody is arguing but not this time. Everyone is cordial. We're mature. We're coming together. Even if it involves a third party or even adult children that were probably even against this if they were from a different family. So I can already see the current energies is that it's going to take a lot of work here for your person to return back to your life, to get their message across, for you to even acknowledge them because you don't trust them. So I can already see what your person wanted. What did they want from you in the past? I think they wanted their cake and they wanted to eat it as well. And I did say this to Capricorn. I did their reading yesterday. This reminds me of like how I, I always say this is that you can have everything, but not at the same time, everything in its box, right? Everything in its an appropriate time. And I feel here that your person, yes, they might have been dealing with someone quite toxic. Could have been the mother of their children, their spouse, could even be, you know, a mother, a sister. We've got some very strong toxic divine feminine energy here and it's you know I, I see that both of you are really focusing on your stability your career your finances your study here but it's like they're also kind of knowing that to get back in your good books is that it's going to take a lot of hard work and effort less talk more action because Gemini, I know that you don't trust easy, but you have your reasons why. You do not trust this person. You know they lied to you. There was some, like, as I said, lying, cheating, stealing. They were withholding information. Perhaps they were telling you they wanted one thing, but they knew in the end they were going to do one thing. So I firmly believe that A, your person either went back to the ex because it was familiar, it was predictable, it was safe, 
And you always, Jim and I, represented uncharted territories, fear of the unknown. And there's one thing I know about you, Jim and I, is that you like change because you get out of this stagnant situation that you're in, right? You don't mind being uncomfortable for a bit. Um, or two, I just feel like they were not ready. Emotionally, they were not ready to be in a relationship. So as a result now, they're super nostalgic. They can't stop thinking about you. And they know that the way they ended things, there's no clarity. Closure is very difficult, which is why they do want to come back and talk to you about that third party. A lot happened behind your back. The fact that we have the Seven of Swords, a lot more happened behind your back, Gemini, that you actually probably don't even know. That Ten of Cups is my happily ever after. On its own, it's a big fat resounding yes that they do want to work on this. They do want to be back in your life, but to do that, they need to talk to you. They need to be clear. This is clarity. So they're going to bite the bullet. Literally, they're going to be like, uh, let's just do this. I mean, you are under the tree and to get to you, they just got to walk down this path and it's uncertain, but the fool does represent brand new beginnings reclaiming the purity and the innocence of this connection of course a wish here is that well we don't want this third party around but a big fear which i pers i feel like your person is going to confirm your fears or they're going to clarify you know they're going to clarify your fears in other words it's not that bad i do feel here that your person was committed engaged or married to someone else there was children that was a very toxic relationship um there is no love there but of course, I see that even though you do not even trust this person with your life, you are tempted. Why do I say that with this Capricorn energy of the devil is because it is a major card of temptation, of lust. We're talking about the physical side of the relationship. But I also see, you know, the sword is pointing straight down to the devil. I think here that your person, they might still be like a little bit controlled, used like a puppet. Um, by this third party, like empty threats, domination, control. If you go back to Gemini, I promise you won't see your kids again or just stuff like that. Those threats that really just bring you down. It's very hence Devi energy here as well. I do feel that your person may be also trying to overcome or at least move on or control any addictions or dependencies. And the fact that we have the Six of Swords, yeah, this person might be overseas, even if they're near. We act, we're actually moving on. We're moving away from the Five of Swords, which is fantastic. Five of Swords is a major cut of conflict. And we move into the Lake of Tranquility. So I see both of you perhaps, and I mean, let's look at that. We are, we're only having like two cups here. So there are still feelings, there are emotions, but we do have some mental cards. So, that, you know, that does show a bit of, you know, disagreements, mental conflicts, challenges, obstacles. This person is definitely an obstacle. I can see right here. Um, very, I'm hearing very toxic, very aggressive. This person might have their own dependencies and addictions. I'm hearing over drinking, um, self-medicating, and both of you are moving away from this. This is good. All right. But it's, mm, now we know what did they want. They always wanted you, Gemini. But I feel here that they were under massive control from this Queen of Pentacles. Massive control. You probably saw it, but your person was probably just blind to their manipulation and they believed every single threat, which was just an empty threat, really. So, and what do they want? What does your person want? Well, clearly they want you. They want to come back, move into karma waters with you. Mm, I feel like they don't want to invest too much of their emotions as well in case you say no to them. So it's like, okay, I'm not that hurt. I don't feel that rejected, but they do have high hopes. I can see that. But I see that you're kind of hiding behind a tree thinking, I don't know. I don't even know if it's safe to come out. I don't know if it's actually safe to meet you in the middle. And if you tell me the truth, is that just what I want to hear, for example? So it's almost like I'm not believing anything that comes out of the devil's mouth. So let's see. Two more. Last one. Because I keep hearing, like, I still do love you. And I feel that you feel that way but i feel like your person feels it like tenfold versus you though bottom of the deck yeah we've got the moon pisces cancer energy now we can literally see the water there is a lot there right we've got the mermaid singing at night we've got the full moon 
So emotions are running very high. Both of you, I, I can see that you have your internal fears and anxieties and concerns about this person because after all, the moon does warn you of trickery. You know, when it's a full moon, that is when we see the most shadows. We can't see in the dark. We have fear of the future as well. So definitely using your intuition. But again, it is a card of beauty, of humility, of grace. And I feel almost, we got the 10 of cups twice. Your person will be making secret moves toward you possibly within the next month. It's like that's when the ball starts, you know, rolling. Pisces energy, yep, here we go. The King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. I think I'm hearing that your person is a free man or a free woman, like they're single. Um, and look at that, we've also got the Chariot again, Cancer energy. So they're gonna, this is everything very fast moving towards you. Sneaky moves towards you. We got that Seven of Swords. So you've got it, your person has got it as well. Mm, that is interesting. I'm almost hearing that your person doesn't know if they should or they shouldn't approach you because we also have that two of swords. Libra energy. Should I? Should I approach Gemini? You know, is this going to bite me in the bum? I'm hearing it's almost like your person actually really doesn't want to look like a fool, but they're going to bite the bullet anyway and they're going to do it. And they know because you don't trust them. They know that the last memory that you have of them is not so nice. It's actually pretty bad. Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Two of Wands, Aries energy. Yeah, we've got the Merman looking out. So this is stepping into the unknown. I'm coming in with a white flag, Jim and I. Please don't bite my head off. <laughs> um, I don't want to argue, but they're stepping into the unknown. They're working up their courage to say, this is it. I'm going to reach out first to give Jim and I clarity. And hopefully Jim and I can read between the lines, which you always do, that I want to move forward with Jim and I. There's something about making up for lost time. So I feel like they promised you a lot and it's been, you know, I'm almost feeling like enough time has passed where, you know, for you, it's like, well, those were just words. You need to show me through action. So they are building up some form of courage here to face you face to face. Let's talk about you. Three of Wands. So the two has moved on to the Three of Wands. That's still Aries energy. I think some of you have been patiently secretly and we haven't admitted this to anyone that maybe deep down inside you wouldn't mind hearing back from this person it's been delayed it's it's been dragged on for far too long this time apart and it's definitely because of this third party so think about who this person could be it could be you know a, an ex-partner it could be the mother it could be a sister it could be a friend but I'm really thinking it's someone that was romantically tied to your person in the past might have children but if you're waiting for this person, you're not going to have to wait too long, Jim and I. I feel like this is going to happen sooner rather than later. I'm also hearing that they want to make peace because they know how badly, how sorely they screwed up. Let's talk about your person. This Yeah, they want to talk to you. That's why they're coming back. We have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, and you, Gemini energy. The King is looking to the sword, but they're also leaning toward the future. And the sword is pointing up open, honest communication here. They're going to get straight to the point because I almost feel it's like in their mind, they feel like you've put a timer on them. It's like, okay, let's talk. And it's like, you've got five minutes. So I just feel this person's going to get straight to the point. They're not going to fluff around or, you know, just say, oh, I've missed you and all this. No, they, they just want to say, Jim and I, I, I just want to tell you before you hang up, whatever, just give me five minutes. I want to talk to you about this, this, and this. So this is going to be a very to the point, very like, I don't know why I'm hearing like cut communication, like it's just going to like, like a sword. Let's talk about that 10 of cups. Clearly they want to be with you. Yeah, we've got the, look at that, the king of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, energy. This is someone now that wants to show you that I am emotionally Im um, mature. I was going to say immature. No, um, I am emotionally mature. I'm grounded. I'm emotionally available. I'm a lot more intuitive, empathetic with an E now. I'm all about the home. I think your person is someone that is very loyal. And I feel like that's why they almost went back to whoever this queen of pentacle is. Doesn't matter about gender here or even star sign. It's that your person is a very loyal person. And it's like now they want to be loyal to you though. But you're like, the damage has been done. How do we actually erase it? And I think your person knows we can't erase it. We just need to pick up the pieces um, and move forward. This is what the Six of Swords does though. We, we take our lessons with us. Ace of Swords is clarified by justice. Libra energy. So as we can see, we've got the sword, but we've got the scrolls there. So knowledge, conversations, they weigh more. They're heavier than the actual sword there. 
So yes, there definitely could be some clear-cut communication in regards to legalities, separation, divorce, court, court proceedings, maybe something that your person had to sign, they give, gave away a lot of their things to this person, for example, a lot of their rights, money, if they had any assets. What I do like, though, is that they do want to come and balance things out between the both of you, because thanks to them, they caused a major disruption because I almost feel that things were going good and they were going great. But then from great to excellent, that's where it kind of scared your person. It's like, oh, crap. all right, this is getting serious with Jim and I. I don't know if I'm ready. And perhaps if there was family and children involved, they may have persuaded your person behind your back because we have the seven of swords there and the moon. That means a lot is happening behind your back. And I almost feel they did it impulsively. And now they were scared to come back. They're always scared to come back, but they always come back to Gemini, right? Um, they do wish to actually talk to you based on facts, which I do like. So no excuses. Let's get straight to the point. The King of Swords represents, I, I've got to be all no nonsense. I just got to get straight to the point now. Um, the Fool is clarified, good, by the Hermit. So that is Virgo energy and it's the Wise Sage. So your person has thought long and hard about this. And this was a very big spiritual lesson that your person actually had to go through as well. You went through your lessons, but so did they. No one here just left thinking, oh, what was the point of that? So these were spiritual lessons, how not to treat Gemini, how to grow up, how to be mature, how to honor this connection as well. So they're not looking outside for answers. All this time, during this time of separation, they've been looking within for answers. So they have changed for the better. I do like that. Have they really grown up mentally, emotionally, Yes, they have. We've got three kings and we've got one queen. So there is a, a lot of people around this connection still. Interesting. They might have, for example, three boys, three girls. It doesn't really matter, but there's just a lot of people here and it's forced your person here to kind of quiet them down, have stronger barriers and think, no, I just want Jim and I. They're casting literally light back into the situation. Let's talk about this Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this, we got the full twice. Despite the Queen of Pentacles, your person is leaving the beach, arriving to the shore. We've got, again, the full Aries energy. They're still going to go for it. Absolutely. There is, I feel like there's a little bit of, not unfinished business, there's some minor details that your person is still going through in terms of legal stuff, um, but they're still going to like push it to the side so I feel perhaps they don't want the year to end like maybe the same as last year or the year before. They want it to end on a high note that at least they tried, that they at least reached out to you, Gemini. So everything's pointing to a brand new beginning and the fool is looking to the future. And this particular fool is looking straight ahead into the future in the horizon. And there you are. So the devil is clarified by the six of pentacles. Taurus energy. Definitely, I, I believe your person's home life um, if they were committed, engaged, or married to someone, that was absolutely a very super duper toxic environment. I'm talking about arguments, screaming matches, throwing plates, all of that. Um, that's absolutely terrible. One person leaves and they disappear for days. So there is no love there. Yeah, and again, I'm hearing the spousal support, child support, even court proceedings, like I said, money, assets being divided. And don't be surprised if they send you a sneaky message or a sneaky gift, for example, um, as well. I can see their intentions are good, but do not be surprised, Jim and I. I think you're going to find out a lot more that happened, especially with that toxic third party. They were probably jealous of you, intimidated by you. You were new, you arrived on the scene and like you've got that queen of pentacles saying, no, I don't think so. What about me? You know, you know, it's really empty threats that if, if you go with Jim and I promise this and this will happen and they're terrible threats. I'm not going to list them, but they're, they're just, they're not nice threats to make because it really puts someone against a wall and a sword. But they want to balance everything because there is a huge, massive imbalance between the both of you. Yes, it's thanks to your person, but we also have a very toxic, I'm going to even say abusive, very manipulative third party here. I do not trust that person, not even with my life. No way. Six of Swords is moving away and we are coming together. There is that Page of Swords again. We got it twice. Only by talking to each other, by being brutally honest, do we move forward. They said to get one more. We're moving away from that Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles was there. The Queen of Pentacles is here. We're moving away from that toxic third party. In fact, your person may be relocating as well, just to get further away from that person and to get closer from you. Split the deck and it leads to what? The Ace of Wands, a passionate, fiery, exciting new start. 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So I am not, how could I say this? I'm not letting your person get away scot-free. What did they want from you in the past is clearly they just wanted you, Gemini, but there was a lot of control, a lot of manipulation. The devil literally got your person behind your back. Um, and they, I feel like there was a lot of empty threats as, you know, as I was mentioning before, it's like, if you do this and if you do that, and they basically scared your person into retreating very hermity, like this hermit, poof, they disappeared. And you're like, well, clearly they just used me. No, there's a lot more that goes into this story. So that's why they are back. This is what they want now. This person clearly loves you. So they do want another try, but they want to also tell you the truth. And I feel like they're going to get straight to the point because, again, I feel like in their mind, they've got this imaginary timer where it's like, I better hurry up or else Gemini is going to say, you know what, this is boring. I'm going to hang up. I don't think you'll do that, Gemini. I think you're very curious to see what is it that they're going to say after all this time. And clearly they just want to reunite with you. Wow. Um, this, this was really interesting, Gemini. Will you accept their apology? Do you want to talk to them? Because I see here that both of you, after having a, a, you know, a very strict to the point, heart to heart conversation, we move into calmer waters. We move into the lake of tranquility where the worst of the worst is behind you. And we're moving away from any influence, any third party influence. So that's fantastic. It's just going to take time. That's all. So Gemini, thank you so much for joining me. Wow, this is what you can expect sooner rather than later because swords do represent weeks. Um, so I can see it's going to happen. You know, it's like I, I can see the ball moving. And again, if you do want to um, enroll in our signature online master tarot course, do um, send us an email below in the description box. It's there and I will personally respond to you within 24 hours as confirmation and I'll um, obviously, you know, elaborate more in the email so you don't have to pay full price. All right, Gemini, always remember power to you. You are in control and I'll see you next week. Bye.